Greetings, Weight Watchers and friends. It's Love It Fit to Love Me, and I am here with my weigh-in video. I am going to tell you how my week went. I'm going to tell you what the scale said, and I'm going to tell you what I plan on doing differently, if anything, this week. That's the way I always tell. That's the way I always do it, as you, I'm sure you know by now. Of course, I am in my favorite location here in sunny, getting very, getting, to, becoming hot, Kuwait in the Middle East, and I, yeah, I'm at Starbucks, a chilling. Okay, so this past week, I told you that I was going to stick within my points every single day. Well, that was my intention, to stick within my points because I really want to get close to the program and not be so out, so far out. I was feeling like like I was getting out of control and really out of control with the carbs and things like that. Basically, the sweets and snacks. And I was saying that I feel similar to how I felt like when I was on Points Plus. So if you want to see the rest of what I said, I will link the video here. <laughs> and or here someplace i don't know which i don't know which way it goes here to the right or there to the left i will figure that out at this point i forgot though that i was going out of the country i live here in the middle east part of the year or most of the year or whatever with my husband and i am on a visitor's visa that means i have to leave the country every 90 days and then i can come back again after you know a day or after a few hours or whatever and have my visit my, get a new visitor's visa so I love that because it gives me the opportunity to travel around the region or travel period and so that's what we did we went to Bahrain it's another Middle Eastern country and it was lovely We only went, we only spent there, slept there one night, so we were there, you know, a full day, the night, and then the next day. So, traveling, Dubai, Dubai. Airplane food. I tried to get a turkey ham sandwich, but they didn't have any. So I ended up getting a chicken Caesar. So we're not so crazy about the Caesar, are we? But I got a diet drink. And I don't have to worry about having candy cravings. One time I had this candy and when I put in the points, it wasn't too tremendously high compared to the other candies. This is just um, coconut, as you see. So I got some of um, Ali's potato chips. Oh, here we go. Eating at you know, these different restaurants. We're on our way to dinner. We are headed to a restaurant called Bushido. It's Japanese. So today I probably have some sushi, but I'm also gonna try some cooked dishes and just basically stuff that I would normally would not normally eat and would not would normally want to use the points for. I didn't track, so I just didn't track. There's no really no excuse. But I started off with nuts. I started off on the plane, eating the plain food, getting a sandwich, you know, sandwich. I don't usually eat sandwiches like with bread and stuff like that. I'm not going to waste my I I'm not going to waste my my points on a random piece of bread. I don't waste my points on on liquids but we were in a country where you're able to drink and Kuwait is a dry country so I do take the opportunity to drink uh, you know to have a cocktail or a wine or something like that while I'm there I have had a few of these coconut rum with Diet Coke so that's points for my drinks 
I started off like I was like in the in the airport saying I want to get something kind of healthy so that I won't be too snacky and I got nuts I got like cocktail nuts or I don't know some kind of mixed nuts I left all of my Weight Watchers stuff at home. I don't have my measuring stuff, cups, I don't have my, my scale, I don't have spoons, nothing. I went and bought these. But it was like the most, the healthiest thing I could find. Of course, it's, it's high in, high in points. But yeah, I let myself get hungry. At least nuts are filling. Healthy fats. But nuts are really high in fat, you know. And so I've, obviously, you know, we always have this discussion about the fact that Weight Watchers should allow for that, but I ended up eating a whole bag of those nuts plus a half bag of those nuts. Between yesterday and today, I've eaten a whole entire pack and a half of these nuts. I am honestly afraid to to calculate the points because they are a lot. Um, I mean, like these are not like a one sitting nuts. These are like nuts that you should take days to eat. So. Yeah, so that was what I was snacking on so I wouldn't reach for, you know, sugary foods. But I had candy. I, I told you I had a bounty bar. I'm eating half a Twix that my daughter had. And I was like, I'll just take one little piece. I'm not going to eat the whole half. And I was like, well, you know, if you take a little piece, you're probably going to want to eat the whole thing. And I was like, no, I'm good. I don't feel like eating the whole, eating the whole thing. Then I started eating it and what? guess what? I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I told you I had a half of a Twix bar and I've had half of this. This is a Lint Hello, my name is Salted Caramel Bar. I've had half of this. I've already given this away to my daughter. So yeah, I just was off the rails. It's kind of like, okay, I've already messed, not because I've already like messed up, but because I'm on vacation and I have already gone off, but I'll be back on track again tomorrow or the next tomorrow or the next day. And I definitely had that out of control feeling even when I got back because it was really it has been really difficult for me to 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 like off of the sugary sweets. So I got on the scale and I got my I, what it is is I got my new scale. I got the new scale. I did do like a comparison on the on the two scales and the two scales are pretty much the same today. When I first did it, like it seemed like they were not. They were like a pound off. Way in Monday. All right, so the scale is saying 232.0. Now I do notice that with this scale, when I step in, like I stand in different places, depending on where I stand, the scale does change. So that is something that does happen with the scale, a problem with that scale. So now I'm gonna get on the scale on the left. And the scale on the left is the new scale, it's the balance from scale that was rec was recommended to me by, I'm gonna say, Lori from Fit and Fabulous Mamas and Kim from Fit and Fabulous Mamas and then everyone else who's purchased the scale. Okay. Okay, now this scale, is saying, why is this upside down? I don't know. This scale is saying 231.8. So they're off by 0.2. The only thing is that this scale had originally said, the one on the right had originally said the same number, 231.8. So while the one on the right has been relatively accurate, it's not consistent. So I'm definitely going to go with the balance from scale when it comes to accuracy. But today, I got on the scales and they were and they were pretty much the same, except you know my the the old one fluctuated like it does, right? But pretty much the same, and my results were that I weighed two thirty one point eight, which is exactly how much I weighed before. Okay. So let me back up and say, when I got back, I got on the scales like I do. I'm a person who like weighs myself every day, you know. I mean, I don't have to weigh every single day, but you know, I like to see where I'm, what I'm doing. And I knew that I was feeling out of control and I wanted to have a gauge for what was happening on the scale. The scale was up like four, like was, was up like four pounds and five pounds, like for just, it seemed like days. I go come to weigh in today and I get on the scale and 
it's the same it's the same as last week so I'm able to show a maintain what it's like when I tell you that I tell you that the scale knows that it's weigh in day like I don't even understand how it's possible like I have been really messing up it is crazy but grace I don't know a miracle I don't know I'm just gonna call it grace I'm just gonna give thanks and I feel like I'm back on track today today I started to make changes well, I started I started to make the I try to wean myself off it didn't go so well yesterday I stayed within my points pretty much today I am really trying to stick close to proteins fats natural foods I'm just trying to just stay away from the triggers because that is the thing I'm eating these these carbs it's not just carbs it's sweets sugary sweets for me or carbs that triggers me to want more eat more and more and more and more and not stop so I just really have to make sure that I stay satiated with proteins and with with fats and with vegetables that's another thing like right now I don't have any vegetables going on in my in my life so I need to like get some roasted vegetables happening and really get into the groove of having like a stable base that can satiate me I don't feel like I'm out of danger with the can with the sugar sugary food and the in the in the candies and the ice cream I'm not out of danger like it's still plaguing me in my mind I just need to get control with the food portion so so that's where I am I of course want to see a loss on the scale I would like to I'm losing I'm here to lose weight and to to change my body to transform so staying the same while it's much appreciated and completely grateful and it was actually surprising it wasn't until just now when I sat down and I looked at the scale from last week that I found out I thought it was like up 0.8 or something like that but when I realized that it was the same weight, it was like a gift. So I definitely want to, you know, earn, like, not earn the gift, but yeah, I want to make sure that I'm able to maintain that gift and to uh, even show a loss this coming week and to get back in control. So this week, it's about getting myself to a place where the sugary sweets are not controlling me. And if I'm going to make those choices, I want to make low smart point uh, choices because this past week or two, I have not been making low smart point choices in that area. So as far as my exercise is concerned, this is this is day one, I think 17 of the Determined to Satisfy 100 and I'm still going strong. I did Leslie Sansone's walking program this morning and I'm still, I'm still, I'm still in it to win it. So I'm so grateful for it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. And if you're new to my channel, I love to have you join me. So please click the subscribe button so you can see more of how I do on my weight loss um, journey. <laughs> I love the channel Spit to Love Me and everything I do can be found in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao friends.